In today's video, I'm going to give you my top five tips to improve as we lead up to Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel basically focuses on helping you get better at Madden and I do that through a variety of ways, but one of the ways I do that through is my videos. So if you're interested in becoming a member of my channel, all I wanted to ask you to do today is go ahead, there's a link in the description below and it is my discord link that discord is kind of a community where we all kind of hang out and we talk mad and it's a great place to do some of the things i'm about to talk about so top five tips to improve uh for madden 21 so tip number one is this quote really has stuck with me for years and i believe it so applies to madden 21 you are the average of the five people that you associate with the most. What that mean, what that basically means is whoever you practice with, whoever you uh, work with, they are going to influence how good or how bad of, an, of a player that you become. So one of the ways that you can just take your game to the next level in Madden 21 is you can join our channel's discord and what that's going to do is it's going to get you access to some of the best players in the madden community and you can do that just by clicking the link below but what i would do is set up lab games with them this is what i did when i was uh, growing it's still one of the things that i need to do is i need to play better competition another way you can do that is just start playing for money uh, play for money in madden 21 you can do that on players lounge and you don't have to have a lot of money to get started just five ten dollars will get you started and you can play money games for a dollar two dollars but as problem right says there's just something a little bit different when money is on the line and so that's been a big adjustment for me in madden 20 i've played a lot more money games than i ever have in the past and honestly guys it's helped me get so much better at the game uh, my user skills have gotten better my uh, reads my my pro progressions against zone against man they've all gotten better because of that one change and again these small little tweaks are going to help you get so so much better at the game the next tip that I have for you in Madden 21 is focus on concepts over money plays because concepts transfer year to year. What I mean by that is you're seeing me in this game and I am running my Arizona Cardinals competitors guide. I don't know if you've heard yet, but I did release a competitors guide. And if you want to get access to that competitors guide, you can click uh, the link in the description below. It'll take you directly to my pay hip account and you can pick that up. But the Madden Competitor's Guide is all about air raid concepts. What I mean by that is you're running conceptual plays. You're running plays that work in year in and year out, okay? Very, very simple. But essentially what I'm getting at here is run levels concept, run Y cross, run, run mesh, run um, verticals. Try to go into the lab and really study some concepts. I'm going to be having a lot of videos on my channel that are going to be breaking down just kind of classic passing concepts year in and year out that always work. Um, flood works every single year. But what you want to do as you transition into a new game is you want to focus on football concepts over just a couple of money plays. Most of us are used to running rollout corner routes or um, specific types of routes with the streaks and fades. What I want you to do is take a little bit of a transition right now and jump into any gun spread or really any gun trips and just focus on good simple passing concepts that's going to help you because once you master the concepts they're going to transfer year to year every single year every best passer in madden has run a post streak and drag concept right essentially levels or a high low read so we're going to be breaking down some of those concepts on the channel so you want to be in the discord so you can get the earliest access to that but again, focus on concepts over money plays. The third tip I have for you is to master a few simple plays and learn the ins and outs of post-snap reads. This is a principle that I've really, really tried to work really, really hard at. It's the reason that I really only will typically run one competitive offense year in and year out is because what I want to do is I want to master a few simple plays. There's a quote by Bruce Lee that goes like this. He says, I do not fear the man that practices one kick or this, um, um, I do not fear the man that practices um, a kick, a hundred kicks once. I fear the man that practices one kick a thousand times. And, you know, I kind of butchered that quote, but what the gist of that quote is saying is you need to simplify. Uh, when I look at people, when I do coaching sessions, and if you would like any more information on one of my coaching sessions, private private coaching sessions that I'm going to be doing in Madden 21, you can just go ahead and shoot me a text and we can go ahead and start setting that up for you. But 
what I'm talking about here is when I sit down with people and I actually take a look at the film tape and I look at the best players and and really look at what they're doing and why they do what they do, a lot of it comes down to simplicity. You know, they may not know it, but the best players have the most simple offenses you've ever seen. I mean, I know we all have seen Skimbo play Madden, and it's like literally watching a rerun every year. I mean, he's basically ran the same offense for the last, I think, five to seven years in competitive Madden. And so, you know, again, that just goes to show that simplicity, learning to master a few simple plays, and then really the hard part of offense to me, and the hardest part of offense is reading the defense after the ball is snapped, because so much is happening so quickly, but when you run a simple offense, you don't have to worry so much about looking at your routes, what you're really worrying about is, okay, what is the defense doing post-snap, and what am I going to be able to hit them on? The fourth tip that I have for you is write down your offensive and defensive system on a play call sheet, okay? Write your defensive and offensive system down on a play call sheet. There are a ton of websites out there that can get you access to, you know, basically like the play call, all the play call sheets at Madden. You can also do this through screenshots within the custom playbook feature. But what I want to encourage you to do, and I actually do this with a notebook, but I draw my setup. So however I want to set my, my offense up, I'm going to go ahead and just draw it out on a piece of notebook paper. I take a picture of it and then I have it on a document that just shows me what plays beat what when the defense does this what are my steps what are the what is my system right because you don't want to be thinking about that when you're in the throes of a competitive game just like in the nfl they don't the coaches don't want to be doing that they have a system they have a plan ahead of time that is going to help them beat some of those heavy blitzing defenses or you know whatever so they can go into a game fully prepared for exactly what they're going to be faced with so again that's just another encouragement i would have to you if you are looking to really improve for Madden 21, I'm going to say make sure that you have a play call sheet and write it down because when you write it down, it, it just means more to your offense. The third or the, and the final tip that I have for you is to blitz less. Now, this is going to be a really big adjustment for a lot of people because we're all used to playing Madden uh, 21 where you could pretty much get pressure. Um, you know, there's a lot of ways to get pressure. In fact, if you picked up the defensive competitors guide that we just released, you know that we have probably some of the best pressure in the game. I mean, there's just no way to pick up all of the pressure that is in uh, Madden 21, especially if a player knows what they're doing, if they have the competitor's guide, they're going to know the ins and outs of how to really get pressure at you. But in Madden 21, I believe that you're going to see a shift, and I believe you're going to see a shift to more coverage defense. This goes back to, again, that concepts over plays uh, feature that I was talking about so much in the beginning. Because of that, that reality, you're going to need to learn how zones work. You're going to need, to need to learn how match principles work. You're going to need to learn how coverage shells work. What is the difference between a vert hook and a hook zone? And we're going to be breaking down a series for you on that. We also have the competitor's guide that goes ahead and breaks that down. So if you want to pick that up, you certainly can. But again, my number five tip is to simply blitz less. Because when you blitz less in this year's game, or when you blitz less in this year's game, you almost kind of get punished. Uh, a lot of times as you can see right here but when you blitz less next year's game maybe like three three five crossfire blitzes or different things like that then you're going to be able to i mean i'm telling you you are going to be able to lock in you're going to be able to get stops because the offense is going to not understand because people are so used to roll out corners working every single year and again the game of the meta of the game is going to continue to slip flip it's going to continue to switch it's going to continue to evolve and so you have to evolve with the meta so those are my top five tips to improve overnight a quick recap before we jump out of here you are the average of the five people you associate with most and so what i want you to do as a next step if you have not already be sure to join my discord the reason i want you to join my discord is because number one it's going to keep you up to date every time we go live we've been going live every night on our youtube channel i uh, would love to have you come into the live stream giving out different uh film sessions and different things like that for you but be sure to join that discord a link is in the description the next tip that i had for you was focus on concepts over money plays because concepts transfer year to year we're going to be actually giving you some free resources to take care of that and we're going to be doing some uh, concept breakdowns so what is the y cross concept what is the y corner concept what are the levels concepts what's the mesh concept what's the four verticals concept right all of these basic concepts that will transfer year in and year out and we're just going to kind of break that down for you on the channel so be on the lookout 
lookout for that and again if you're in the discord you're going to get the fastest access to those videos so be sure to jump in there the third tip i had for you is master a few simple plays and learn the ins and outs of post snap reads master a few simple plays and learn the ins and outs of post snap reads that's the idea of bruce lee right I do not fear the man that's practiced a thousand kicks once. I fear the man that has practiced one kick a thousand times. That relentless repetition over and over and over again. You've labbed it. You've worked on it. You've faced every single defense you can possibly face against it. And that is why you succeed. One thing I did want to... Um, one thing I did want to kind of hit on here, and there is a quote by Michael Jordan that uh, kind of illustrates what I'm trying to get at with this next tip for you, just kind of free bonus tip here. But don't be afraid to fail. Okay, don't be afraid to fail, right? Michael Jordan says, I've, you know, missed over 9,000 shots career, you know, whatever, 26 times I've taken the game winning shot and I missed, and I'm probably going to butcher the numbers on this, but he talks in a commercial for Nike about how many times he has failed. And if Michael Jordan can talk about his failures, and we would all recognize Michael Jordan as being one of the best basketball players of all time, if not the best basketball player of all time, depending on, on your opinion on that, you know, why is that not good enough for us? And so, you know, you're going to have to fail. As you can see, you know, here, I still fail. I still lose. I still trail. I still throw turnovers. I still miss reads. All of that stuff is still really, really real. And you're not going to find some, I promise you, you're not going to find somebody in Madden um, with any level of integrity that is going to say, you know, I've never lost a game of Madden. You're never going to find that person. There's no perfect Madden player. But what I hope you see at the end of this video is there's a way to get a lot better. There's a way that your winning percentage can go up a lot. And I hope my channel can help you with that because that's really what it's designed to do at the end of the day. It's designed to help you get better at Madden. And we do that through a variety of different ways. And then the fourth tip I had for you was to write down your offensive plays. Um, and really what I mean by that is uh, write down your offensive and defensive system on a play call sheet. So what that basically means, guys, is it means you want to go into a game fully prepared for everything they're going to do. So... Um, again, you're not going to be able to prepare for everything because there might be some secret defense, you know, but most of the time there's really not. It's just come down to film study and, you know, what we try to do is best prepare you through our competitors guides uh, for everything that you're going to face uh, within the game. But what I'm trying to get at here is know what you're going to do ahead of time. You know, know what you're going to do ahead of time. If it helps you to have a little play call sheet that says in third and one do this or against cover four do this or against cover three do this, you know, that's something that I started doing. Uh, a little while ago and it has helped me tremendously so that might be something for you as well but you know just basically the idea is have a system have a plan before you go in because if you don't have a plan you're gonna you're gonna really struggle so again guys the last tip i have for you is to blitz less i think the defensive meta is going to entirely shift in madden uh 21 you're going to see a return to crossfire uh, type of blitzes, different defenses like that because of the way that the EA Sports is going to overcompensate and they're going to make the contained blitzes a lot less effective uh, than they have been. So I you know, just want to kind of encourage you to consider um, taking a look at something like that. But guys, last but not least, if you guys are just coming to my channel or you've been following me for a while, here's what I want to ask you to do. Um, I want to go ahead and ask you, you can check out some of the other videos that are coming, getting ready to come up on your screen. And I would really appreciate that. But one of the things that I would really, really, truly mean the world to me is if you considered taking a look at my competitor's guide, my Madden 20 slash Madden 21 competitor's guide. I've put over uh, 20 hours into building this guide for you it's everything that i know about madden in a comprehensive guide that is written up for you guys to be able to succeed one of the guys that bought it actually let me know in a text message the other day he said this is the best 25 dollars that i have spent uh, in the last year um, so we all know that 2020 has been kind of crazy i put this guide together to help you take your game to the next level and here's the deal it's it's madden 20 content but here's what i'm going to tell you we are actually going to be giving a 100% free update to the guide in Madden 21. So when Madden 21 comes out, the first week of the game is out, you're going to get a 100% free update. So that way you have basically two guides in one. You can buy the offense for just 15. You can buy the defense for just 15. Or you can buy the competitor's bundle guide for 25. And so uh, this is the best way that I know how to ask you guys for support. You know, I put a lot of energy into my YouTube channel. And if you uh, have followed me for any time, you know, I don't ask for a lot. And so I just ask that you support me in this way. Truly 
truly it would mean the world to me and I tried to put something together that would actually really help you improve your Madden game. So if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, consider purchasing that competitor's guide. The link is in the description of this video. If you have any questions about Madden at all, text me. My number is 812-216-3644.